Hello there. Welcome to your driving instruction. So, I'll be your instructor for today. There is no pressure whatsoever to get this all right on the first day. This is not an exam. Uh, this is just a uh, demonstration for you, okay? So, you just sit and observe and pay attention. Okay, since this is your first day, I'll be showing you the tips and tricks, okay? So uh, we're driving a basic car here, um, which has all the basics we need, really, for any modern day car. Um, you have the honker in the middle here by the logo. So you push that once to honk. I'm not going to do that because we don't want to disturb traffic today, okay? Or scare anyone. Uh, we're not trying to alarm anybody. This is the steering wheel. So while you drive the car, you're going to put your hands at um, the... Uh, based on where you're driving. The, let's say, this is the 12 o'clock zone. o'clock position and there's lines here usually on the steering wheel to guide you and help you out so there happens to be a line here on the right at two o'clock and on the left at ten o'clock this would be nine three just like on a clock ten I'm sorry two ten so you put two ten some instructors now say you should put them at 9 and 3 on um, where the cusp is here. You can see the little little cusp there and there. And your thumbs should wrap around pretty snug and tight. You should always have a firm grip at the wheel at all times possible to maintain safety. But I say we have a 1 o'clock and a 1 o'clock range to work with here because some people's hands are pretty big so they'll cover the whole um, 2 and 3 and 9 and 10 so as long as you maintain that range you should be just fine put your thumbs up like this okay maintain your alertness eyes on the road at all times you would like to preferably look ahead about three to five seconds worth of driving length so the time it takes to get from point a here and point b three to five seconds of driving worth down the road so you can keep an eye out for any animals humans bikes cars the like bricks falling off the sky <laughs> uh, driving instruction to pathetic. Alright, so uh, we're going to take a look at the um, basics again of the steering wheel. By the way, are you comfortable with the lighting uh, and the, uh, the air conditioning? Okay, good, because it's kind of hot today in Florida. It's very hot. 100 degrees. So the honker, I went over. The airbag will deploy from the honker were you to be in an emergency, a, a, a wreck above 20 miles an hour, okay? Um, we don't want that. That's very uncomfortable. Uh, there are cancel and set and reset and timer buttons here on the right and most basic steering wheels for settings on the monitor screen. Uh, sometimes it can be for the radio as well and the up, down, left, right keys and the OK button for uh, either the monitor or the radio. It, it all depends. It's different in a car, so you'll understand and get the basics and the, the, the grip of uh, that. Uh, Alright, so there is a call for help button, alert SOS system, and a hang up button as well. And that's the basics. So on the left side we have this switch here. It can be a little bit difficult to see, but we point it up to go right and down to go left. Okay, so down is left, up 
is right and it's easy to figure out because when you switch it up it kind of tilts to the right so when you feel it tilting to the right you're gonna know oh, that's right down it kind of tilts down to the left slope and it kind of makes sense because on a graph we usually represent down and left right so anyway uh, then if you push it that way away from you um, well that did nothing for some reason, but uh, it's supposed to do the um, headlights, and then if you push it towards you, ah, uh, that's the headlights on this car, okay, great, so towards you is the, the big lights, okay, it'll switch blue, and away from you is, uh, you turn off those lights completely, but it, it'll click somewhere in the middle, all right, uh, let's see here, and you can also, um, it'll tell you the arrows on the thing, so the right side, you can also, um, push out away from you for the back wipes and you can see it on your um, rear view mirror here okay and push this towards you for the spray and the windshield wipe uh, in case you have a nasty bugs come on or um, I guess it's a very hot dry day with a lot of dust and you just need to see better some fog okay um, you can also click and turn um, clockwise away from you one switch just for wipe without spray and the left switch just wipe without spray on the back as well any questions okay so uh, this is a switch for the lights this is regular light and this is auto auto is off because we are in a sunny day so they're It'll detect on a foggy day or when it gets dark, like after 7 o'clock, um, sometimes 6, sometimes 8 o'clock, um, it'll automatically turn on. Uh, and it's law to turn your lights on during a rainy, foggy day or when it's dark, okay? So here's the radio. You don't need to know all that. I don't need to show you any of that. Air conditioning switches, yada, yada, yada. You know how to adjust your seat comfortably. You should be very close to your steering wheel. Um, as long as you don't squish your knees against the dashboard, you're okay. You don't want to be too far away because in case of an emergency, uh, you're going to need to have fast access to your feet on the pedals. Um, so if you're not, you're too laid back, listen to rap music, Cardi B, whatever you young kids do nowadays, and then you realize, oh no, I'm two seconds away from death. Oops, too late because I didn't listen to my driving instructor that one time I told I was told to uh, put my seat close. So keep that in mind. You'll remember and mark my words. So um, the left center pedal is the brake. And you heard that click. I'll do it again. You heard that click. That's a click it's for the brake. The right pedal is accelerant and we're parked now so it's just going to accelerate in place and kind of rev your engine and get it going so I did it again so you can kind of hear and how it warms up and makes a sound do not be on your phone device um, if you get caught nowadays that is as bad as driving with um, a DUI you just don't want that okay uh, I shouldn't say it's that bad but I'm just trying to scare you because they will no, it, like in the courts, it's a big no-no, um, especially if you get caught speeding or violating or a stop sign or a red light and they realize on your phone records, yes, they will track exactly the time they caught you on, uh, uh, on in your car uh, making that offense and they will have receipts of the time you texted someone or called someone and they will see that you were in fact on your phone during that time big 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 no no you have to have your phone nowadays on a hook mount to your AC vent or your uh, windshield or your mirror it is not allowed to be free handedly open like this this is the offense okay that's as bad as eating and driving in some states all right so there's the charging point port for cigarette smoking um, just personally just as distracting as being on your phone but anyway none of my business uh the pull on and off of parking emergency brakes i'm not gonna have to turn those on now because that's a confusing mess i'm not they just gave me this car i'm not familiar with jeeps so i've never seen this car in my life um 
so I'm not about to get it stuck here in the, in the middle of the, the heat today um, in case we run out of gas, uh, which we have half a tank, so I'm not going to play with that parking brake, but you know how to use that you just nowadays in the manual switch. Pull to turn it on, so if you get caught really fast ahead of something and you cannot brake on time, you slam the brakes, which you should never do. You should always like firmly grasp it and push it. You should never just flat out slam because it, your car will skid and it will do the opposite effect of what you desire. So, um, pull it on. It's just a button nowadays. You don't need to pull a full uh, manual clasp as we used to, uh, so it's safer. And then you just push it back for off. Or there's an off button right next to it. Usually, there's a compass in most modern cars now. Radio, media, phone, Bluetooth connectivity is highly recommended for your safety, so that you don't have to keep uh, browsing your phone. You just have a monitor here to um, do your things for your apps. Tune and browse, scroll go back, volume switch, mute switch, uh, another uh, emergency SOS light which will um, light up the back lights and tell people on the highway or whatever you are that you're in trouble and it's just like an emergency light and you do that if you have an emergency or tire pops and you're just calling an ambulance or for help or for police or something and you gotta legally have those lights on so that's that red switch here below the radio, okay? Uh, lock, unlock, window. And there's also a switch for your um, your um, mirror, so you can see it actually move. See that move? And you adjust it based on uh, your height and recommended angle of a view. So um, this is your uh, mirror compartment for not only checking your narcissistic self out, but also. Um, was a joke, I hope you understand. Okay, we have a horrible dry sense of humor, dry like this hot desert weather. Um, and this compartment for blinding lights or the sun, you know, for comfort, you can adjust it and switch it here as well. I'm not gonna do that, it's noisy. A armrest here in case you need to break really hard and you just really don't wanna have whiplash today. A speedometer, so again, you can adjust the settings based on mile per hour, kilometer per hour. There's the fuel tank. The heat and cold index should always be halfway. If it's any higher or any lower, your car needs help. Uh, you need to go to the nearest uh, moped or something like that and get an oil change. Uh, it also shows the mile per hour. Any buttons will light up. This is telling me the first and foremost most important thing that I need to put my dang seatbelt on. Uh, the rotation per minute, which should always stay around three to 4,000. Um, any more... Is scary you're driving too fast probably uh, any less um, are your tires working okay so ask yourself those questions okay uh, but you'll know all right any other questions for me at this moment in time I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else beyond that there's a charging board like I said And just basic instruction, like I said, ensure that the buckle clasps tight along your waist and your chest and shoulders, okay? Again, make sure your seat is high enough for your eyes to be halfway between the height of the windshield, okay? And that you can see above the engine tank of your car, okay? You don't want to be too low. And that's why I personally like uh, taller cars like this one, so that you can have a wider range of view rather than feeling like a bug crawling on the floor. Uh, there's also a tracking device you can have in your car. It will detect bumps, and if someone um, is just interfering with your car trying to get in, it'll uh, monitor that on your phone uh, with Bluetooth, and it will tell you exactly on GPS where you're vehicle is at all times okay so I highly recommend that uh, that way your car is insured uh, if it's uh, lost or stolen 
or damaged and um, it's usually through your phone company but I also recommend you always always have car insurance okay uh, and that any car you purchase you're able to uh, afford it okay with monthly payments or just buy it in full uh, but never buy a new car in full big financial mistake it's not a good investment uh, keep the music below a 20 volume uh, for your eardrums and for other people's comfort uh, and safety on the roadways. Uh, they don't like when you drive with too loud music. There's a couple holders here and here. Armrest here for more storage and room in the back for guests, but don't be acting foolish with your friends for too long. Uh, be a responsible adult, okay? You're grown, you're mature now, and you should know how uh, the basics are so I don't need to explain for you, but keep in mind the objects in the mirror are closer than they appear um, And yes, my transitions suck, but at least I'm teaching you. Okay, so um, The first rule of thumb is your comfort and secondly make sure you can see in all the mirrors So check your rear view adjust it. You want to see the entire window behind you and a good amount of your car, okay? And the uh, the outside world uh, and the roads as well. Um, uh, let's see here. So make sure you have your driver's license, okay? Your proof of insurance and your vehicle's registration in your glove compartment over there. All right. Um, they will ask for that if you get stopped, and be very nice if you do get stopped. Yes, sir, ma'am. Keep hands on the wheel attentive don't be a stiffy you know just relaxed but yes attentive look them in the eye nod your head yes um, and always always ask before you reach for something in the glove compartment don't just flat out reach because they're gonna be alerted and alarmed all right just say may I reach for my registration license and insurance yes okay and if it expires, no big deal. They'll enter in the system and just remind you to, to update or, or get, get your new card in the... It happened to me before uh, plenty of times. So it's no big deal. But, um, you know, you're nice. They're nice. It's okay. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, once you have all of that, keep your feet firmly either on the brake or the accelerator at all times and the other foot relaxed. Uh, 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 resting well your left foot so I'm going to hold the brake and click switch from park to reverse and there's a rear view camera that I can see behind me if there's any little kids that shouldn't be behind me um, or dogs or cats or bats or who cares so I'm turning a little to the left because I notice I am parked a little bit too much in the grass, so I'm trying to get out. So once you get out, you just turn a little to the right and steer it in a straight line. And there's green, yellow, and red lines to guide me where to go in my car. So we're done backing up. It can feel scary to back up at first, especially when it's your first time, you don't know what you're doing, but always see what I'm doing, the pattern left rear right I'm always looking every even the windows when you turn you better I better see your neck crane like a crane okay you better go like this I better see that neck twist and turn unless you have neck pain there's no excuse not to be craning your neck so I'm gonna switch from reverse to drive now so it's park reverse neutral drive that's always the order on stick shifts and my thing is going off on the phone to let me know that the uh, GPS the car is moving and now we're driving I'm slowly releasing the brake pedal very very slowly so that we can um, drive slow is that okay with you we're going four miles an hour no more I don't mean to alert you your, your first time uh, getting an instruction okay nothing 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 scary about it Thankfully, we're at an empty street, and there's no one here but the potential wild boar that will literally um, eat you if it could. Okay, let's park. That's it. You hold the brake when you switch. It's not going to work otherwise. you got to hold the brake before you switch gears, okay? Any questions? So then the um, 
the day. This is a sport car, so it, it will have two settings for drive. Just ignore that. It's plus and minus. Never use those unless you're experienced with vehicles and know what you're doing. That way it's smart gas. Jeeps alone waste a lot of gas, so we're not going to do that. But All right, so um, that was it. I'm going to teach you a couple turns. All right, so uh, ignore this part. I just have to uh, adjust the car to uh, set it in place. So you're not learning anything now. Just ignore me. Let me just get in place first so I can show you what to do. Alright. Keep the speed limit 5 to 9 above at most, and that's on the highways. And even that's a stretch, okay? Obey the stop signs, the red lights. You know what to do during a, a red light. Okay, good. So let me teach you these turns. So going to parallel park which is challenging but I'll instruct you another day on this some more so I have um, my foot on the brake of course reverse set in place instead of this I'm switching my hands over now and preparing to turn the car so I'm turning the steering wheel slowly releasing the reverse uh, I mean the brake I'm angling and I'm doing this I'm looking back to ensure that I'm going to park all right, okay? And then I slowly, you never want to do what I just did, but I'm doing it because something's here right now and I have no choice. But, um, I just parallel parked. Do you see how I all did that? You're not going to know the first time. It's going to be confusing. And then when you do that, you drive turn the wheels back and you'll get a felt sense you will know your car you will feel on the wheel what is right what is not and then park and release the brake so we just went from over there went like this backed in and turned it back and parallel parked and this is for tight crowded city environments where there's a lot of cars lack of parking and you need to tightly squeeze yourself in all right so next up is the cape point turn so this is the part you should know by today it's very easy so click break drive release hands on the wheel and turn them one over the other see how i'm turning one over the other one over the other one over the other and go very slow and release a little. You always want to release a little with your steering wheel. You don't want to lock it too tight because then you're going to risk getting it jammed and you have to call for help, auto zone or whatever. Reverse. Release the brake. And now you quickly, slowly release the brake, but very quickly turn the steering wheel back. Keep looking at reverse camera, rear view mirrors, windows, and when you get to the edge of the street, just like you did the first time, edge of the street, back edge of the street, and again, drive, and really quickly turn, 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 until you can't turn anymore, release a little, I'm almost there, I gotta reverse again, quickly, quickly, turn the wheel, quickly, 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 and edge of the street, and brake, and drive, and turn, 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 and align with the edge of the road, the right side of the road okay so the challenge and the true test of time when you're driving in roads is at least in the beginning you're always going to think about oh my god it looks like i'm on the very edge it looks like i'm going to hit the other car you know just trust in the process but it's an illusion your car ends here pretty much at, at that um the edge of that mirror which is very close to this window so I would use this window more as a guidance um, as to where your car really is from the front it looks like your car is like almost touching the edge of the other side of the road but it, it's nowhere near it and a whole other car and a half can fit in that area so you have most likely at least one-fourth of a car space at all times between you and the other person on the other side of the road so like a whole car most sometimes can even fit through so I wouldn't worry about that unless it's a very tight narrow road then you would take your time and do what it is you do but I'm just gonna do one spin around the road okay to show you how it's done 
Okay, so I'm just gonna try just normally at the speed limit here. There's no speed limit, but look what I'm doing. I'm just being attentive and um, and uh, oh, that's someone's following me. Okay, and and looking around, right? Look, I'm turning. I'm looking ahead of me in both directions, making sure I don't hit anyone. We're just going very slow. Okay. Rear view mirror, checking if someone's tailgating me, checking if someone's trying to pass me, checking for obstacles ahead of me, not being distracted by the hot guy ahead of me, paying attention to road name signs, where I'm going, stop thinking about the dinner I'm going to eat later tonight. Always, when you're driving, you're going to think of, what am I doing wrong? Okay? So, always pay attention. And we're going to pull up into the parking lot now. Okay. Break and turn. Make sure no one's next to me while I turn so they don't slam into me. All right? to the building. Uh, thank you for joining me for your driving instruction today. We're going to just do half hour, some days one hour segments, um, some days two hours when you're close to your exam so I can double check and ensure that you are on your way to success and you getting your uh, license, okay? And since you have your permit now, you should be able to come in next time and start driving and I want to see you do that K-turn and at least attempt a parallel park, okay? All right, thank you for joining me. All right, best wishes to you. Make sure you study your book for traffic signs. What does an orange hexagon mean? Ah, I got you there.